For five long years, the world has stared into the sky, waiting, hoping, and praying for his return. We have spent our days asking where he went, debated why he left, and wondered if he's even alive. We had become so accustomed to looking into the sky for help that we had forgotten how to save ourselves. Yet disasters have come and gone since he left us. Mankind has learned how to survive without him. And perhaps we no longer even need Superman. But on the anniversary of his disappearance, one question remains. Where is Superman? I believed reports that my homeworld Krypton still existed, and I traveled half a universe only to discover. I was wrong. It was nothing but a graveyard. I'm all that's left. Reports were true. He was on a foolish quest to Krypton. Take him to War World! Get up, Superman! It's time to die! Mongo has brought the galaxy's greatest warriors to War World! Mongo? Today, I bring you Superman of the late planet Krypton. I'm not playing your ridiculous games. <laughs> Meet your first opponent, Platoon! Is that the best you can do? Ah, oh no, Superman. That was just the beginning. Undefeated in eight galaxies, I give you Overcast! Now prepare to battle the ultimate destroyer, Mongo! Superman, <laughs> you know you want to. This fight is over. Flee, coward. You haven't seen the last of me. Lex, it's cold here. What is this place? It's Superman's fortress. It's where he learned who he was, and where he came for guidance. Ah. Just what I came for. My son, you do not remember me. I am Jarell, your father. Embedded in the crystals before you is the total he thinks I'm his son. of all literature and scientific fact from the 28 known galaxies. There are questions to be asked. Tell me everything, Father. Starting with crystals. During the five years of my absence, much has changed. My mother is selling the farm and leaving Smallville. There's nothing left for me there. But even if Lois's article is right, and the world doesn't need Superman anymore. At least there's still a place for Clark Kent at the Daily Planet. Metallo, stand down, now. When I heard you were back in town, I got here as soon as I could. to achieve my greatest triumph, that Boy Scout in blue tights decides to come back? And then again, as I've always said, to pull off the greatest crime of the century, one would want the greatest challenge of the century. Well, Superman, you're going to wish you'd never returned. Lux, when you duped old Lady Vanderworth out of all her possessions, you sure did it with class. I do everything with class, Miss Kowalski. You're gonna conquer the world with this? You see, the technology of Krypton, Superman's home world, was based on manipulating the growth of crystals. 
Cities, vehicles, weapons, entire continents, all grown. To think one could create a new world with such a simple little object. Give up now, Metallo. There's something I've got to get off my chest. Encrypted. So the uptown grid went dark at 12.36, and midtown 10 seconds before. Which grid was hit first? Uh, looks like J-12, across the river. The, uh, Vanderworth property. You're sure? Nothing before that? Uh, yeah, that's it. We were able to restore the power to the rest of the city, except for the Cadmus Labs. I don't know if you heard, Ms. Lane, but Bizarro and some of the other clone experiments ended up escaping during the power outage. Some of the guys around here said they saw flying monsters. Sounds like a real problem down there. Anyway, just thought you should know. Thank you very much. was a bad idea. Ah! Are you fishing for an interview, Miss Lane? Lex Luthor. I should have known you were behind the Black House. How about I give you that interview? Here's your first question. Lex Luthor, what do you know about crystals? They make great chandeliers. Well, this crystal may seem unremarkable to you, but then so is the seed of a redwood tree. It's how our mutual friend in tights made his arctic getaway spot. Cute. A little small for my taste. You're building an island? Oh, it's not just an island. It's an entirely new continent. For lack of a better name, it's Krypton. And you think that the rest of the world- They'll what? I'll have Kryptonian technology. Thousands of years beyond what anyone else can throw at me. But millions of people will die. Billions! Once again, the press underestimates me. Come on, come on, say it. Luther, you're insane. No, not that. Superman will never let... Wrong! What is that? I think you know exactly what this is. Mind over muscle, Miss Lane. Mind over muscle. Commander, this is Unit 14. Grid 67 is reporting a cell wall breach. The EMP triggered a voltage overrun in our transformers and the explosion tore right through the cell wall. The Terminites have escaped. We've also got a complete malfunction in inmate riot's containment unit. Send all available backup. Close, Kitty. Close. Mr. Luther, we're approaching the coordinates. Latitude 40 degrees north and longitude 73 degrees west.
Where did you get this? From the fax machine. It, it, it's Lois's handwriting. I... The coordinates. Go check the map. I'm on it. It's 20 miles off the coast. Sh should I call the Coast Guard? <laughs> this is the exact moment when Lex Luthor at long last realizes his manifest destiny. Lex, this isn't like the train set. I know. safe there. See anything familiar? I see an old man's sick joke. Really? Because I see my new apartment. And a place for Kitty and one for my friends. And that one over there I'm gonna rent out. It's a nice loft kind of look. But you know you're right. It is a little cold. It's a little... What's the word? Um, alien. It needs the human. I don't have time for this, Luther. You have something that belongs to me. You're asking yourself how? Kryptonite! Amazing, isn't it? When crystals grow, they take on the traits of the minerals in the environment around them. Look, buddy. We didn't whip up all the hoopla about Krypton if we thought you were gonna come back! Krypton? You sent me there? Can't go back home. And soon you won't be able to live here either. There's no place for you anymore, Superman. Now fly! told us to get out of here, and we're running low on fuel. No! We have to find Superman. We're almost there. In the past days, we have seen our beloved city attacked by dark, sinister forces. Metropolis was nearly destroyed by tornadoes, earthquakes, and a rampage of notorious villains. Finally, we survived one maniac's twisted dream that would have destroyed all we hold dear. The Man of Steel would have given his life, and nearly did, to save us. We live, every man, woman, and child, because a strange visitor from another planet with powers and abilities far beyond those of mortal men had long ago decided to walk among us. I asked the question, does the world still need Superman? 
The answer is... Yes. Hey, Blue Boy, you know, this place is a real dump. Bet you wish you were still on creep time, don't ya? You? Up here, pal! The one and only Mr. Mix, your spitlick! Straight from the fifth dimension. What mayhem are you up to now, Mrs. Pitalik? Mayhem? Me? I'm hurt! Speaking of which, while you were checking out the home planet, the old me misplaced some of your goodies. You mean you stole them? Tomatoes, tomatoes. But you can have them back if you can complete just a few little challenges. I'm not playing any of your games. Well, you can always try to trick me into saying my name backwards and sending me back to my home dimension. All right. Where are these so-called challenges? Telling you would be too easy. But if you fly high enough, something tells me you'll find everything you're searching for. So have fun. Toodles. For now. Took you long enough. Now I suppose you want me to leave or something. Actually, I came to thank you for all the fun and games. I made something. Just for you. A present? For moi? Gosh, pal, it's been so long since anyone has given me a gift. It's the least I can do after all you did for me. I'm truly touched. I never thought you and me. Superman, this could be the beginning of a beautiful friendship. Uh, oh, look at this. It's an engraving. The mayor insisted on the inscription. It says... I'm quite able to read, you know. It says, so long, and thanks for all the fun, Mr. Kiltip Zixum. That's odd. Why does it say so long? I'm not going anywhere. Ah, <gasps> oh, nuts! That was too easy. Yeah!